Reddit. I just got stood up by my date for tonight. Comfort me with your tales of rejection and or dating humiliation. I had gotten back together with my high school sweetheart. We were living in separate cities, but seeing each other often. Around Christmas he proposed to me, and I excitedly agreed. On New Year's he suggested we meet in San Francisco. That afternoon, New Year's Day 1990, we were sitting in a Korean restaurant, and after eating he excused himself to go to the bathroom and never came back. I sat in my seat for nearly 20 minutes before asking the hostess about him. She told me he paid the check and left a while ago. We never married, obviously, and we didn't even speak again for years. He did eventually offer up some lame excuse but it left a mark on my confidence for years. I know a guy who had been dating his girlfriend for about 4 years and decided he was ready to commit. But when he popped the question, he wanted the whole shebang. He reserved a table at a restaurant that had a live band and he made plans with the manager of the place such that he would excuse himself at the end of dinner, go up on stage, grab the mic, and propose in front of everybody. He even shelled out for a cameraman to record the whole thing. So he took his girl out to this restaurant on their 4 year anniversary, everything perfectly prepared, it was going to be awesome. Except when he asked, he didn't get an answer. She just started this nervous giggle and after a few minutes of it, she asked him to get down so that they could go outside and talk. I've seen the video. It was pretty bad. I dated a girl once who was a little socially off. We had been together for about 4 months or so, and things were at best rocky. On this particular day she decided that a shoutfest was the best way to communicate her general displeasure with me. Me, being the smart guy that I am, decided that it was time to end it. So I broke up with her. This resulted in a fit of hysteria and more yelling. Now, she didn't have a car that day, but her sister was in the area. It being a 100 plus day I offered that she come back to the house so that she isn't outside overheating. Even saying she could be at the opposite end of the house, and wouldn't even have to see me. Well her answer was to jump out of my moving car while taking a corner at about 30 miles per hour. 48.2803 kph. I slam on my brakes as she rolls out onto the freakishly hot pavement. She got a 5.4 on my Olympic scale of car escapes. There was nothing graceful about it. I make sure she is okay, and figure she is as she sprints to a row of bushes. Soon after she disappears, by squatting, into the hedges to be never seen again. TL. DR. Girl jumps out of moving car, rolls across pavement, and hides in a shrub. LOL. Dang. But lol'd. She was my first serious girlfriend in high school. We met at church, and had known each other for a couple of years before we started dating. Her life had become pretty messy. Her parents were going through a trial separation, and she needed an emotional anchor in her life. Someone steady and reasonable. Why she chose me, I don't know. Maybe I looked like I had it all together. But what teenager does? It didn't help that I complained about her habit of hugging everyone. Sure, she was friendly, but it was getting to the point of being ridiculous. When I complained, she got upset. She dumped me on the night of Christmas Day. I was crushed, completely heartbroken. But over the next couple of weeks I started pulling the pieces together again. Then she called me, crying, and said she'd made a terrible mistake and wanted to get back together with me again. And for a month it was fine, and I was very happy again. But out of nowhere, she dumped me again, on Valentine's Day freak. This time I was only very sad, not crushed. I started building scar tissue. She called me again, about a month later, and started hinting that she wanted to get back together again. I shut that down cold, and left her crying and yelling at me as I hung up the phone. We didn't talk again for 5 years. During the interim, I had joined the Air Force, went through training, and served 2 tours in Korea, and was starting a tour in Okinawa, Japan. I had just got married to a wonderful Korean woman, and then the phone rang. It was my old girlfriend, she'd got my number from my mother. Thanks mom, and called to tell me her sob story of how she just got divorced from her husband of 3 years, and wanted to know if I was interested in her. I shut her down, then told my wife what had just happened. The next time she called, my wife answered, and gave her an earful. Who dumps people on Valentine Day? Who dumps their boyfriend on Christmas? You are a very bad person. 
Stop calling my husband I still chuckle when I remember that. She didn't call back after that. The best, or worst, reason someone has given me after not showing you oh. Sorry for not arriving, but on my way there I ran into another friend and decided I'd rather go out with him. I like this, I'd rather get an honest answer, than to have them pussy foot around. I've been rejected more time that I can count, in a variety of horrific ways, but this one's the best. I'm leaving a club on a Friday night and I meet a girl on the elevator on the way out. We get to chatting and she tells me that she's visiting from out of town with her friends and she's just here for the weekend. Well, one of her friends met a guy and she didn't want to be a twat block so she's going home. I tell her that I'm going to a different club and I invite her to come. To my surprise, we go. So, we have what seems to be an amazing night. We drink, we dance, we hold hands. She's really pretty too. We talk about life, careers, relationships, etc. I tell her I do stand up comedy for fun and I tell her to google me if she wants to see me. She seems like she's really into me and everything's going great. I walk her back to her hotel at like 4 in the morning. Suddenly, she starts going into a tirade about how she's not a bimbo and how she doesn't put out. Mind you, Reddit, I literally hadn't made any moves on her at all. At all. I know that's hard to believe, but I hadn't tried to hook up with her at all. I suspect that she was just used to this being the part of the night where the guy started getting douchy, so she automatically snapped into B mode even though it was undeserved. But she still gives me her number and begs me to text her the next night. I am not making this up. She kept asking me to text her the next day. We plan on going out together the next night. Her friends and my friends. I also give her a breakfast recommendation to go with with her friends. I text her the next day and ask her how breakfast was, and she says that she didn't go to the place I recommended. We text back and forth a little more. Late afternoon, I text her do you wanna meet up? No answer for like 3 hours. So, I figure she's not interested, but just as a last resort, I text back how her guess not, no response again. Okay, mission aborted. I go out with my friends and I meet other girls, wake up in the morning and see my phone. Turns out the girl texted me in the 3 in the morning with the meanest text you've ever read in the your life. I don't remember the exact wording, but it said something like you would think you would be used to rejection considering at how unfunny your comedy is. Haha, <laughs> loser. It was such an absurdly mean and ridiculous text that it didn't even hurt my feelings. It was clear that this girl was just damaged. I actually felt really bad for her. For those curious to hear my stand up, my comedian name is Sam Zaven. I won't judge until I see your comedy. Not exactly a date I had this friend, one whom I used to be quite close with, I'm a guy, friend is a girl, we were supposed to meet up for dinner at a fairly nice place, I just came from work, so I was dressed in a suit, sit down, wait a while, waitress asks me if I'm waiting for somebody, I smile and nod, I text friend, confirmed the date the day before and ask her if she was still coming. No answer. Waitress comes back a few times, with a slightly sadder face every time. I try to call the friend a few more times. No answer. Waitress felt sorry for me, gave me a few extra bottles of beer on the house, and I had a very fancy meal on my own. Have not spoken to that friend again. I was dating a guy for a couple of months and went away for the weekend together. During a random conversation he spilled the beans that he couldn't possibly love me because I didn't exist and ignored me the rest of the trip. It was my birthday. I was just so WTF that I didn't even know how to respond. When we go back to town I left and never saw him again. Never date a solipsist. Picked a girl up for a date. She got in the car. First thing out of her mouth. You know, I've read that you can tell if a relationship is going to go anywhere within the first 60 seconds of your first date. Enthusiastic me. Cool. So how am I doing so far? Silence. That date sucked. You should have responded cool, I really only need 30 though. I had someone stand me up after I was already at the roller derby venue. My date couldn't find parking, had a panic attack, and left. Then deleted their online dating profile and never spoke to me again. Felt bad. It sounds like motor vehicles were the problem, not you. A guy told me to meet him at the movie theater for a date. I showed up at the time we decided on. 
but he was an hour late so we ended up missing the movie I wanted to see. Had to wait another hour to catch a good film and it just so turned out he forgot his wallet. I paid for our tickets. I usually pay for just my own, as well as his drink, and enjoyed the movie. When it was over, I bid him farewell, but he told me he didn't have a ride home. I offered to drive him to the other side of town to his mother's house. Turns out he was 8 years older than me. I was 19 and met him in a junior college class. Thought we were around the same age, his license was taken away because of recurring DUIs, and that he thought Star Trek was for F. I dropped him off and he apologized for making me be the woman gentleman, closed my car door, drove back home, and that was the end of that. The date sucked, but at least someone thinks I'm a gentleman. I posted this a while back but it got buried. I moved to a new office a few years back and within a month I was messing with a co-worker. We went out a bunch, got drunk and made out but never had sex or were officially BFGF. One weekend she asked me to come to Reno for her birthday with a couple of friends. One of her long lost guy friends met up with her while we were there and she ignored me for basically the whole trip. The last night we were there she was ignoring me at a club. So I decided to branch out and met another woman. We had an amazing night. Talking. Drinking and near the end of the night making out pretty heavily. We had driven to Reno from Idaho. About 9 hours. Most awkward drive ever. With the combo of her bitching silent the whole way. We worked together for another year before she actually moved away. I started a long distance relationship with the club and chick and she is now my wife of 2 years and mother of our daughter. Oh where to begin. On two separate occasions. Once in HS. Once in college. Two different groups of friends thought it would be hilarious to convince me a girl had feelings for me. The college group even had a girl pretend to be her and talk to me on the phone. If nothing else I've learned the idea of women being attracted to me is hilarious. There was the time I was supposed to be on a double date in college, but the girl I was supposed to be going out with invited around 8 or so other people along. She claimed later not to know it was a date, but when we set up the double date she confirmed it was me she was going out with and not the other guy. But not really dating per se but there was the girl who wanted me to read Frankenstein in class since I looked like the monster. There was the blind date who old and talked to me. At all. I'm sure I'm repressing other stuff I'll remember later. You try. That's better than 95% of the reddit population. I think I told this one before, but I liked this girl in high school. We were friends and I wanted to ask her out. I'm talking to her on the phone one night and I tell her I really like her and would she like to go out some time. She tells me she really likes me too, but as a friend. She then asks if my brother is home, one year older than me. She wanted to talk to him so I give him the phone. Find out after they talk that she asked him out. I told him what I was talking about with her and he ended up telling her he didn't want to date. You got a good brother. My junior year in high school, one of my best friends introduced me to one of her best friends. We started talking online and were both really into one another. He drove to my school to meet me for the first time and hang out with me. Long, long drive. Everything went great. We made out like crazy in his car most of the night before he took me back to my school, boarding school. We got together a couple times after that, and he even came to my house to meet my parents. Well, prom was coming up and he said he would go to my prom with me. I was so excited since I had really only had one boyfriend before him and I got to get dressed up and look really nice. A few months later, two days before my prom, he decides to tell me he met another girl at home and won't be going to my prom with me. I cried so hard for weeks and almost didn't go to prom because I was so embarrassed. I had told all my friends he was coming. Got all excited. And then he cheated on me and dumped me. I went stag to my prom. Too. It was embarrassing and I hadn't even told anyone a fella was coming. I hope you were able to have fun anyway. I was talking dating. Whatever. To this girl while I was in high school. One night. On the phone. She tells me she feels bad. Because she lied to me about something. I asked her what. And she says that when she told me she had only ever messed around with two guys before. That she was lying. It was actually 10 guys. And 2 girls. Now. I am a pretty laid back dude. So I didn't care. But she was really upset. And kept saying I bet you think I'm a W and stuff like that. 
So, in a stupid attempt to make her feel better, I thought I would open up some of my secrets to her. So I tell her I am bisexual, and then she goes oh, I don't really think that is attractive, like, at all, and then we broke up stop talking, whatever, and that was that. Took me a few years to be able to come out to anyone again. TL. DR. Girl confesses the amount of guys, and girls, she has slept with. I tell her I am B, and I get dumped because she thinks it is gross. She's B but thinks it's gross for you to be B, what? I had a giant crush on this guy that lived about an hour away from my town. So anytime we'd hang out I'd end up staying over. At first it was party, make out, sleep. After a while it got more serious and I had several days off work so we decided I'd stay over with him for around 4 days. First day there, everything is normal. Second day was normal, then instead of the regular routine of party, make out, sleep, we had sex. Next day he acted like I was some stranger in his house, avoided eye contact, didn't talk to me, I was completely flabbergasted. Finally, I made him make eye contact with me and I asked, insert name, have you just completely lost interest in me now his response, Sayafi Ice, you're way too good of a girl for me, you'll find someone better. But yes, I've just lost the chemistry, I just smiled, packed my stuff and walked out to my car. He followed and said, you've taken this really well, I was expecting tears or something. I told him he wasn't worth my tears and to have a good day, in more words, surrounded by smiles. TL, DR, had a several week fling, finally had sex, guy lost interest the very next morning, I smiled and continued on in life. Ex-boyfriend proposed to me, over the phone, and I initially nervously giggled which he took as a yes and he started to plan everything. I was 18. Give me a break. I finally got up the courage to say that really wasn't what I wanted for my life, and I was sorry but we are done. And I even said that I hope he finds what he wants, it's just not me. He told me he had $800 saved for a ring and told his parents. Why would you spring that on someone like that? He then proceeded to tell my rather conservative parents all about things I do on weekends such as partying and having sex, etc. Needless to say my life got very interesting after that. He continued to text friends for months afterwards asking where I was. I was not a happy camper. Crazy exes are the absolute worst. Mine is good friends with my father, so that gets a little weird. Funny that you mention this. Because I was stood up just two nights ago, a friend of a friend asked me if I wanted to catch a movie and dinner after my soccer game. We had gone out a few times in the past, but not for about 7 months, so this was out of the blue. I don't have much of a social life so I saw this as a pleasant change. Unfortunately I don't live in the city so it was an hour's drive to get to the cinema, at which point I discover a recent text on my phone. Really sorry but I have to take care of an emergency. I spent the next hour drive back home wondering if I should feel sorry for myself. I even wore my nice pants. I started working at the beginning of the summer with one of the most beautiful girls I had ever met. We hit it off right away and started hanging out all the time. She revealed to me that she had a boyfriend who she lived with but they had been having a lot of problems and he was away for the summer and things were getting worse all the time. I helped her through her relationship and she admits that she has feelings for me and says all these incredible things to me about how she's never met anyone like me and that she was falling for me etc. Eventually after some time her and her boyfriend break up and we slowly start seeing each other and sleeping together. Everything was so perfect. We had amazing conversations and sex and we would spend the night together holding each other it was so amazing. We never really took the step into being in a relationship because things were still rocky with her ex and she had a lot of stress with trying to find a new apartment and everything so we were taking it slow. Last week I went away for one night to see a concert in a nearby city. When I get back she's super distant. Turns out my best friend, who had known this entire time that we were seeing each other and that she had feelings for me and vice versa. Asked her on a date since she was single and she said yes. Now she's telling me that they've had feelings for each other for a while and that I was just some rebound or something. Anyway this all happened today and I'm drunk enough to be typing this because I feel like crap that I've been betrayed by two people who I thought to be my best friends. Thanks for being a place to vent Reddit. Comma that's really crappy man. In 6th grade, 
I finally gathered up the courage to ask the guy I like to go to the spring dance with me. He said yes, and we had a lovely awkward time watching the older kids dance for a while, and I thought it would be a good idea to kiss him on the cheek. I did kiss him on the cheek. He then ran to the bathroom, threw up, and left 2 hours early. Was talking to someone and going on a date since, heck why not, he's in another city so talked about our schedules, distance, what to do, etc. Not even a week or two about talking about it he starts acting really weird with hormones and crap. After a few days of this, really didn't like where the communication was going and politely declined and said I'd rather not pursue anything with him. He started getting pee saying that I was leading him on etc. He comes out with, yeah well what would you do if I picked you up and took you away for a weekend? A. I questioned if he was drunk or stupid, and he went completely silent before asking half an hour later. So if you said yes before and I have sex with you it's still okay right? Tried to explain rape to him and consent but he kept asking. Ended up blocking him a few nights ago. So many stories in this thread are turning out to be dodged a bullet situations. In your case, it might be dodged a rapist. Work with a really cute girl, always flirting with her, ask her out for drinks, meet her at a pool hall, play a few rounds, she doesn't drink, let her win, okay, so she kicked my butt legitimately, off to a bar, sit down for food, later at night, hook a bar, coffee, 1am, back to bar, I've paid for everything she asks how I want this night to end, I say a kiss and a promise for another date. She informs me that she didn't think we were on a date. Never saw her again. You didn't look that good in your sundress anyway Elise. Frick you. Correct answer. In my bedroom. 8. When I was a senior in high school I was at a friend's party and met her brother's best friend. We hit it off right away. And soon started dating. He was 22 and I was 18. I had never had a very serious boyfriend before. And our relationship moved pretty fast. However, about 4 months into our relationship I moved to another state to go to college. He hadn't gone to college, but seeing me go away to school inspired him to better himself and he started taking classes at a community college nearby. Before I left we had a long conversation and decided to take a break for a while. However for the first week I was gone, we still talked on the phone for hours every day. Then. I get a call from him saying that his dad is sick and he's worried about him and his family was stressing him out and that maybe we shouldn't talk for a while so he can get his crap together. I understood, and agreed, as I had been relying on him and not getting to know anyone at my college. Then two days later I get a Facebook message a Facebook message tacked onto a thread titled I love you that basically says he's met someone and they're getting serious and he wants to make sure everything's over between us. I'd left a week and a half before and we'd been broken up officially for less than two days. TL. DR. Boyfriend breaks up with me by lying about family issues and then rubs salt in the wound by telling me via Facebook that he's been cheating on me. Ninja edit clarity. I'm sorry, you'll find better. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.